Hey everyone, welcome back to Bear's Workshop. Today we're going to be talking about a previous video that I did on the uh, Chapin sprayers, which I have one right here, and why I am not recommending them anymore and what I am going to recommend. Uh, we've started with a new sprayer, it's from uh, My Two Sons, and we've got it over there. We're going to unbox it. We've already got one in service and it's been working very well. We're going to show you the differences between the two units. Uh, first, I just want to talk briefly about this Chapin sprayer right here. Um, we were recommending it because it's an electric powered pump. They used a 22 volt battery and, or I'm sorry, 20, 20, 20 volt battery and uh, it eliminated the need to, to constantly pump. And the difference between the pump and the electric uh, is that the pumps have a diaphragm in it and they wear down very quickly, especially with some of the chemicals that we were using in it. So when the diaphragm goes, it goes bad and you got to pull everything apart, you've got to clean it, order the parts, and you're constantly repairing these things. The electric pumps, besides the fact that it, much labor, much less labor, you don't have uh, the diaphragms breaking. You just have an electric motor. It pumps liquid through it and it sprays out the hose and that's it. That works great. But we started running into problems uh, shortly after the last video was created and we we're looking for a solution. I think I have one now. So the first problem that we had uh, besides the usual problems of hoses, uh, these hoses are just flimsy as as hell. They're just they're horrible. Uh, th this is this bends like butter right now. I know that sounds kind of weird, but it's a hose, but it's very flexible. It's, uh, it, they constantly were blowing out on the edges, and we would uh, we'd have to take them apart. Um, so to zoom in on this a little bit. That so if you look at this hose, it's it's not a, it it's starting to come apart from itself inside the the sheathing that's over it is it's like a loose piece of snake skin or something and then we get blowouts all over the place and we'd have to cut them and then just re, re splice them in but that was a constant problem but it was something that we've always dealt with the other big problem was batteries let's zoom in on these batteries is so the problem we're having were with the batteries we started having battery packs start failing left and right and uh, start, we opened up a bunch of them and this is what we found. There is uh, liquid seeping into these batteries. They're not sealed and they were shorting out every battery. And I've got about eight sets of these batteries and you could see that the liquid's just getting in there. So, you know, we tried some, a couple other things. We tried to make sure we weren't filling up the tanks uh, when the battery packs were installed. But liquid always tends to leak out of, the, out of these things, out of the tops. And, it's always create. It's always dripping down and getting on people. Uh, so we tried wrapping them in like a saran wrap uh, kind of material to keep them a little bit more waterproof. But in the end, it was just like you know we went through so many of these batteries and they just they're just failing. Uh, they're just these are never going to work again. Well, I'm not going to clean them up and make them work. I'm sure somebody could, but I probably got about 40. Uh, 40 of these individual batteries because I have, uh, I think I have eight of these. Uh, so I, I have plenty, but to me they're all garbage right now. Uh, the problem is that these batteries sit right on the bottom of this unit and you know they, they sit right under here. So when liquid le leaks out, it goes right on, right into the battery and the battery pack is toast. Okay, so I've been through a lot of different types of backpack sprayers. I've had steel backpack sprayers. I've had Echo, I've had Solo, I've had the Chapin, and they all just have issues. So I'm still trying to find the perfect backpack sprayer. Uh, this company, My Four Sons, was created by uh, a guy and his sons in their garage. And they designed this. I don't know what their whole backstory is. I know that they, they made it in their garage. They got to a point where the wife kicked them out, they had to get a warehouse, and they're selling these now out of their warehouse. And I think they've taken a lot of things into consideration. Uh, there, there's one thing that I know of that they can improve upon, and I actually was able to talk to them, and I gave them, gave them my feedback, saying, "Hey, uh, this is what I, I think I need, and I don't see." But we, we talked about a workaround, and uh, we found the workaround for now. But we're going to go ahead and unbox this, and I'm going to show you what's in it and why this is better than the Chapin, and how we're going to use it. And I'm also going to do a demonstration of how far this sprays and some of the features that this has that the Chapin and no other one that I know of has. So I'm going to get this on box, we're going to look at what it comes with and then we'll go from there. Alright, so now that we've got this unboxed, 
uh, the things that come right in the initial box that we got. You got a battery charger. Th uh, this will actually plug right into the into the side of the unit, right here. This is the one thing that uh, I told them I didn't think was great because if we have this on a truck and we need, to, oops, if we have this on a truck and we need to charge it, we can't put the we can't put this in the trailer. There's no electricity. And we don't want to put this in the truck because it's filled with chemicals and there's really no room. So an external battery charger was something that I was talking to them about, and I'll get into that and what I what I did to alleviate that situation in a couple of minutes. So on the side here, you've got an adjustable spray nozzle. You can adjust this, the pressure that comes out of here. I'm not sure of any other product that actually has that on-off switch right here, and adjust your your spray, your pressure, plug in right here. Uh, so as we take the, take this up apart, uh, this was inside here. We bought the unit that comes with a 15 foot hose, so I'm going to be pulling out a whole bunch from here. You can see how long this is. This is a 15 foot hose. You don't have to get the 15 foot hose. We opted for it because we're going to try and use it in a different way. Uh, but let's zoom in here real quick and take a look at this hose. If you look at these two hoses, and you can see the material. Um, I, I didn't look it up, I don't know what it is. But you can see that this stuff is just, it's crap. I mean, look at that. This stuff right here, this is, this is some pretty sturdy hose. If you look at these two hoses, you can see the ribbing in here. That's actual, actually the threads going through this to hold this hose together. If you look at this, which I've already gotten some yellow chemical on it, uh, if you look at this, this is all threaded. So this is much more susceptible to blowouts and pinching. So if something gets pinched here, it's gonna go right through that. If something gets pinched here, I think you got a, you got an ability to have a fighting chance. But this, this is just garbage. Garbage, garbage, and now look. Yeah. Where's that shit? We don't need it. Got everything on box. I just wanna show you a couple quick differences between the M4 sprayer and the uh, Chapin sprayer that we still have sitting over here. Uh, first thing is, this is a strap. It's obviously a worn strap, but you see how wide it is. This is a strap on a My Four Sons M4 sprayer. Uh, you can see how much wider it is. It's actually got padding as opposed to nothing really. There's a piece of foam that's popping out of this, which is about a quarter inch wide um, that's worn down. This is much thicker, much wider. And when you're supporting as much weight as goes in here, because you're, you're talking about 50 pounds fully loaded. Also, you've got little mesh containers, mesh sacks on the side of these. Same thing on the other side, you've actually got three of them. So you can actually put your tips and your nozzles in here. And you got another place, looks like you could probably put a wand in here. Um, look at that. You put, put a spare wand all the way down the side. Comes with two wands. One is for harsh chemicals. One is not. This one's stainless steel. So this one's for the harsher chemicals. Comes with a, a very nice-looking hose nozzle. In this bag, we have the hose nozzle. We've got uh, several different connectors. Uh, very looks to be very high quality. This is not a plastic sprayer. Uh, it does come with a plastic sprayer on on this one right here and we would uh, connect the plastic, we're gonna connect the plastic wand onto this one because of the chemicals that we're using. In this bag, they give you a little bit of plumber's tape and uh, I don't know how many nozzles, but there's gotta be at least 10 nozzles in here uh, to, for different misting patterns, which uh, these Chapin sprayers come with three. Uh, this, is, this looks like it's got about 10, uh, which is great. It just gives you a lot of options. I'm not saying we'd use them, but uh, we might. Uh, we've got a fine filter that comes in, comes with this. This goes on the bottom, and it, there's a hole in there. You jam that in there, and that's to filter out any uh, large particles. And then you've got your other filter just when you're filling it up. So I'm going to get this put together in a minute. But I want to show you the other cool thing is this battery. This is the battery that comes with it. It fits into the uh, into the back right underneath here. And what you do is, you can see how it's very enclosed. 
All right, so this is where the where you put in the battery. You put this down. This comes off. I mean, it's not a completely sealed, but it's not just sitting there where liquid's going to run down it. Plus, you've got these two connectors right here, which are separated, and they're sitting at the top. So if you do have any liquid runoff, you got less chance that this thing is going to short out. Uh, all this does is slide in like that, and then you put your uh, battery cover back on, and you're sealed. And now this, uh, if that battery is charged out of the box, I'm not sure if it is, then you're, then you're good to go. When you do want to charge it, a simple battery charger plugs in right here, you plug this into the wall. And I'm going to divert from showing you any more of this for right now because I'm going to tell you the issue that we had was we didn't want to put these on trucks and not be able to charge them. So we would have to get a, uh, another battery, a spare battery and a spare charger and leave them in the shop and let them charge. So that's what we got. I'm going to show you that real quick. We, we picked that up off of Amazon and we bought this and we bought the spare battery. We bought two of them. They're about $23 or something. Fairly cheap. So all we're going to do is uh, leave batteries in the shop. We're just going to plug them in, put this on the charger, make sure we always have spare batteries. They say these batteries last a long time. Like we could probably uh, go through, I think it was like 20 or more uh, backpacks before we needed to recharge the battery. We haven't tested that out yet, but uh, we, we have had good results. The, the one crew that's running with it, it went several days before they just brought it into charge just to be sure. But, you know, to go three days and we're probably spraying uh, 20 homes, uh, not full homes, but just spot spraying 20, 20 different homes and the battery still has a, a real decent charge. That's pretty good. So for a backup, we just brought a battery charger and you can use this on anything besides these batteries. It's an 8 amp uh, charger and we bought two spare batteries with it. So that takes care of our issue with getting them charged and keeping them running so that we can keep these on trucks. So I'm going to get this put together and we're going to do a little demo of it real quick. We've now got everything together. I've got this uh, cart going and the cart comes with a backpack that's designed for the cart. Every accessory that you saw is now in here. I've got the 15 foot hose, I've got the spray nozzles, I've got the, the, the extra wand. Everything has been put in here, including the instructions, including the tape, the plumber's tape in case they need it. Everything fit in here and there's a lot of room to spare. And the nice thing is, is that what we're going to do is we're going to put our chemicals in here too. We're probably, we, I don't know which section we'll put in, but there's several different sections. But we use jars of our chemicals pre-mix and we just add water. So we're going to be able to put these in here and now everything is in one unit and that way when we put it back on a truck we can just strap it up and we've got everything together. It's going to probably help us a lot. Uh, we're going to do the demonstration with the short hose. We're going to take it outside, fill it up with some water and see how far it sprays. I heard it sprays far and you can adjust it so that it doesn't spray far. So I'm kind of excited to see that and see how, how well this works. Hi, we're back. I got everything set up. We're gonna go ahead and see how far down the driveway we can shoot this and see how, how it works. Just uh, give everyone a demonstration. The first thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna turn it on. All right, there we go. It's in the on position. I've got it at a pretty low setting, not all the way low, but let's see. So right here, we're shooting about 10 feet. This is a, one of the adjustable nozzles where we can tighten this and we just get a round mist, which is kind of nice. But if you want to just shoot for some distance, all you got to do is open it up and it's going to go a distance. Now that's a low setting. So let's turn this thing up and see what it can really do. All right, now we got it turned all the way up and this thing is shooting pretty far. It's, gonna, it's probably about twice the distance that we're at. That's got to be 20 feet, 20 feet easily. Yeah, it's a pretty, pretty good straight pattern. It's not spraying all over the place. Probably adjust it even some more. Now I'm not going to say it's strong enough to clean a window, but it's still pretty strong. Uh, you definitely be able to clean things off with this, and in the sense that just uh, like 
maybe windows and things like that, but not gutters. But this is working pretty good. Um, like I said, we've, we've already got this set up on a truck and it's running pretty good. I haven't, I'm not gonna try out all the nozzles, there's just too many, and I don't think that many people are interested. This right here is a hook to hang this uh, wand on. Not a fan. It's not very strong. You can connect it from the bottom so there's the weights on the bottom, but this plastic piece really wants to move. Um, and I don't like the hose being out here, so let's try and go around the back, do it like this. It can hold it, but you can see that it moves. That's a second time I put it on there, so that's kind of, that's, that's an area of improvement. Maybe if there was another hook down here and a hook up here, it wouldn't flex as much. I think that would probably work out better. The only other thing that I noticed that was a little hinky was the, uh, one of the Velcro straps looks like it was sewn on backwards. I know that sounds kind of weird, but you know, you, you go around the thing to connect it like that, but it was wrong. It won't connect, so you had to twist one before you could actually do it. Otherwise, everything is really good on these backpacks. Uh, right now, I'm definitely gonna buy another one. I'm gonna probably buy a couple so that I have one on every truck. Uh, the backpack's great. Uh, it does exactly what it's supposed to do. It's not a $300 designer backpack it does exactly what it needs to do and if it fails at some point in a year from now hopefully I could buy another one uh, you know we're gonna we're gonna use it we're gonna there's gonna be wear and tear on it I know that but I think this setup is gonna be much better it's much better for storage uh, it's much better to carry around with that 15 foot hose which is also in the bag I could I could do a 30 foot radius and that actually is gonna be really nice it's gonna help with the uh, which just my guys, just make it easier for them. Uh, and having to, you can park it in one spot, do a whole area, move it to another spot, do a whole another area. So I think that's gonna work out well, and I think there's gonna be less damage equipment because there's places to put the wand, and we could just strap this up in a trailer without any problems. So despite the two things that I, I saw that I didn't like, I'm gonna give it two thumbs up uh, on the, those Chapman sprayers, two thumbs down, never gonna order them again. Uh, just a horrible design. I think the batteries being in the more sealed area are, are not going to get uh, moisture in them and, and short out. And if they do, it's probably going to be a lot easier because everything's not soldered. You may still be able to clean them up if they do get a little bit wet. Those other batteries were sealed with, in, uh, with four tiny screws and you'd have to really disassemble to dry them out. Guys out in the field aren't going to do that. That happens here. It's very easy to take that battery out, wipe it down, put it back in. So. Like I said, two thumbs up for this. Highly recommending this. I haven't seen any issues that the showstopper, uh, this is something that we're gonna put on our trucks and we're gonna use the crap out of. And next time you see one of these, it's gonna be yellow, beat the hell. I'll probably be ordering another one. That's what we do to our stuff. Anyway, order it. My four sons. Thanks for watching.